in the state of Georgia. Okay, Georgia. This guy, I don't even know his name, don't give a shit, but this politician decides to sign a thing and pass it that abortions will be illegal in Georgia in 2020. Uh, why is this man such a savage? Why is this man an asshole? An asshole? I don't know. But, I'm gonna... If we were like seahorses and men would get pregnant from fucking, and that guy would get pregnant... He would probably want to have an abortion, but he is too close-minded to think like a woman. This politician deserves a cucumber up the ass, then a pineapple up the ass, then maybe a cactus after that, because it's insane in the fucking membrane that you in the year 2019 where gay marriage is legal across every state in the united states of america where marijuana is legal in like 12 states for recreational use across america where you can own a fucking gun Anywhere you want in the United States of America. Land of the free is now becoming land of the bullshit. Land of the bullshit. That is what this Atlanta, Georgia fucking whatever he is. Senator, mayor, whoever made this bill. Is land of the bullshit. It's land of the bullshit. There's no freedom. There's no freedom. If you're taking away a woman's... They're taking away a woman's right to live. That's the problem. The point of the option of having an abortion. Okay? These women will get raped by men. These women will get pregnant by these men that rape them. And then their life is ruined but this gives them an option to live even if the even if they have sex with someone that they wanted to and they accidentally got pregnant and they're not ready they should have that option to not have a kid come on people new era caitlin jenner can cut off her penis and put in a new fresh pussy but women can't have an abortion in Georgia? <sighs> you guys have the fucking Martin Luther King memorial where he's buried over there shit. Where he is the symbol of freedom. And now you're taking away people's freedom to live. The point of running a perfect country is to have land, a land of freedom. When you're taking away freedoms, you are going to create a hostile environment, which is what is showing all over this hostile environment of women protesting, of women. You know what, women? Just leave that piece of shit state. I've been there. I went to Atlanta, Georgia. I went to the Georgia Aquarium. I went through that whole city. To be honest, we actually almost died in Georgia because their truck drivers gave zero fucks and he almost ran us over completely. So at this point, I will say fuck Georgia. We should do a hashtag. Fuck Georgia. Fuck Georgia. You're the guy, which I forget his name. You know what? He should not even be a politician because he wants to live in the Stone Age. Fuck Georgia. Uh, 
let's move out, people. Because if you're going to take away women's freedoms, clearly, you're a fucked state. You're a fucked state. And it's disgusting that you take away that freedom for women to live. Because now you're forcing them to have a, I want to say burden, but then people are going to get triggered and be like, hey, fetuses are not burdens. Yes, they are. You know why? Because you didn't want it in the first place. So why force it? It's like, it's like someone, it's like someone coming to your house every day. For nine months. Okay. Someone comes over every day. To your house for nine months. With McDonald's. But it's not any McDonald's. It's a bullshit salad. And a fish fillet sandwich. For breakfast. Lunch and dinner. <coughs> then you start figuring out then you're like hmm this is weird why do i have a fish fillet sandwich and a salad every day for breakfast lunch and dinner so you start consuming this fish fillet sandwich and salad every day for breakfast lunch and dinner then you realize after like a week or two you're not feeling good you're sick you start vomiting you're like, oh my god, I missed my period. I'm vomiting. I don't feel good. I don't know what's happening. Then the guy, Joe, who's bringing you your fish fillet sandwich and your salad for three meals a day, goes, take a test. See why you're not feeling good. What's wrong? Let's take the test. Then you realize that there is a fish fillet sandwich and the salads is fucking you up inside you realize oh shit there's something going on in me that's making me not feel good so now this woman has the choice of you know what let's get rid of the fish fillet and the salad i cannot have this anymore i don't want to deal with this so the woman has the option to get rid of it. Now in Georgia, they're basically like, that option is gone. You're going to eat that shit sandwich and that asshole salad for nine months straight till you shit out a log that you that is to seven to nine pounds. And you're going to have to deal with it. No, we want the freedom to say no to the fish fillet and the salad, you fucks.